Hey guys, this is Dina with Paper Guacamole on YouTube and Etsy, and I am really excited to finally get a video up, a craft video up. Um, I've been struggling since I got my channel up and running with um, camera and lighting, and um, I think I might actually have it right uh, this time. So anyway, um, I just want to thank all my new subscribers and um, wanted to kind of show you what I've been working on. Um, I have a lot of wedding dress tool here at the house um, and I'll show you what I have. Um, this is um, tool from the underskirt of a big um, princess-like wedding dress. So um, it's really kind of a coarser style tool and a heavier weight tool. So I decided to um, use that tool and I also used some other tool that I bought in a roll a while back from Joann's and as you can see it has a little glitter and shimmer to it. So I decided to um, work on some shaker cards. So let me show you what I've worked on. Let me move the camera. Let me move this out of the way. Um, the first card that I worked on, I really wanted to make a um, large shaker tag. So I decided to put a, a, a fairly large, uh, like a Hermelinda tag together. Um, and what I did with this was I received a, and hi Hermelinda, um, I received a decoupage napkin from my friend Anita in Nevada. Hey, Anita. Um, and so what I did was I took the, na the napkin that was already decoupaged on, um, it was on an envelope, I believe. And it's a really pretty um, napkin that had, it was purple like roses with different colors of purple in them. And purple is one of my favorite colors. So I cut it into a fairly large tag shape and um, I put, um, ran my glue gun around it to kind of, you know, give it some lift when I put the, the tool over it. And I, um, before I sealed it up um, with the um, hot glue gun, I put my sequins and my seed beads in there and some iridescent um, glitter that I have. And um, I pulled the tool over and I just decorated it with some lace and a little bit of wedding dress trim and cut up some of the tool and just added some some lace on there. So um, put a little bit of um, pattern paper on there that had a little bit of a texture and a shaker card. One of the things I love about the wedding dress tool is it's, like I said, it's a little heavier weight and it gives a real, like a muted effect to the background. So I thought that that was really neat. So that's the first tag that I made. And you could use this, you know, in a journal, obviously, and that's what I plan on, on using it for, is, you know, kind of sticking it in a journal in a tuck spot or a pocket or maybe, you know, slide it in where there's a belly band. Um, so I um, was really excited to put this together. Okay. The second one I, I did was also with the wedding dress tool um, that I showed you before. So what I did was um, I printed this image off of Pinterest and um, the image says, uh, she is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. And this is Proverbs 31. So what I did was I printed this off of Pinterest and I cut it to size. And then I got my wedding dress tool and I cut it in a larger rectangular shape. And I tried to coffee dye it, but it really didn't absorb a lot of the color. So I had some uh, gold shimmer spray paint. So what I did was I took the sizes that I needed of the tool and I took it outside, spray painted it and let it dry. And then I um, added you know, a layer of the tool added my image, put the top part on, and stitched it about three quarters of the way around. And then before I finished, I added my, um, my sequins in there, my sequin mix, along with my large glitter tool. And I made the shaker card. And I thought, you know, it was really neat because um, 
you know, all I did was stitch around. I really didn't add anything in there to kind of give a lot of like a lift where the sequins or the glitter, you know, wouldn't get so stuck. But um, as you can see, it moves pretty good. So um, I think in the future, you know, I could stamp an image on the back or do something. Um, but what I did was after I sewed it together, I took my pinking shears and I just cut around and just to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, a, a little bit of a different, you know, shape, I guess. Um, so that's um, that. And then the last tag I made, I used the tool that I bought from, um, I think, I can't remember if I got it at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Actually, I think I did get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, anyway, so what I did was I just cut a tag to shape and kind of the same thing, cut a tab to, tag to shape, added the tool before I closed it up and stitched it with a zigzag. Um, I added my sequins and um, actually I did add these um, flat bag pearls on the bottom corner and the top corner to give it a little bit of a lift and um, just added my sequin mix. So again, you know, this is something that you can add um, in a journal or, you know, add to a gift or whatever. And this um, image, oops, I have it upside down. Um, I did print it off of Pinterest and it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you imagined. So um, this is kind of what I've been working on. Um, just did a few of these. I'm gonna kind of uh, expand on my use of uh, the wedding dress tool that I have since I have so much of it. Um, I am a really um, slow crafter. It takes me a really long time to work on things. So for me, I like to use, uh, work on smaller projects um, as I work my way to the bigger projects. Um, I have um, made um, a couple of journals before. The last one I made was for Halloween last year. And it really took me a while to um, complete it, but I was really happy with it once it was done. So these are just items that I'm gonna be working towards um, adding to a journal in the future. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, my little project share. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, I welcome your comments and I thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon. Um, I will see you later. Bye.